we're about to try cross country skiing for the first time ever. We borrowed some, some skis from uh, Taylor's dad. We got a full look here, Arteryx, leggies. Bro, the background be this one. I was baking this morning, it's <laughs> fine. <laughs> Nobody cares. Just a couple of ski ski bounds. <laughs> I got a full mix on them. Wish me luck.
balanced on top of a very nice pot probably a little precarious <laughs> of me to do hopefully by now i've posted like my catch-up vlogs and you can see where i'm at i kind of just wanted to pop in and say hi i i'm feeling really good about this new year i'm feeling really excited i'm feeling really happy really content really grateful i don't know i'm feeling good i've been feeling good for the past week i'm feeling really excited and passionate about the collection of work that i've been working on which you will see very soon hopefully i guess i felt like vlogging today because i'm getting my hair cut which is a huge change for me i've had long hair for majority of my life i have cut it short maybe three times in my adult life and I'm going like really short today so I don't know not that much exciting stuff has been going on so I was like maybe I'll bring you along for that and also just a little bit of studio time which is always nice I'm just excited to be back in the studio I think that's why I'm so happy um, after taking time off you know you always come back to your work feeling rejuvenated hopefully I hope that's true for you as well <laughs> I posted about this on Instagram but I have been lighting my candle every day when I get into the studio and I'm like getting down to business. I haven't lit it yet. Let's let's do it. But I love watching the wax melt. <laughs> like tell me that's not the prettiest thing ever. I feel like this might even inspire some work in the near future. Just so pretty. Okay. I'm probably also feeling great because it's not minus 30 out anymore. It was frigidly frigidly cold. For a while there and we weren't doing anything we were barely leaving the house and so that was kind of hard um what else do i have to share um i made some magic water i got this recipe you can find it pretty easily online if you google magic water pottery ceramics but i got this recipe from her name is mud and i will link her instagram here and also the recipe if you wanted to screenshot it and make some for yourself. I have been using it to attach all the handles on my mugs, on my pots, and so far, lots of success, no cracking. I don't typically have a lot of cracking anyway, but I haven't had any cracks, zero cracks on like, I don't know, more than 20 pieces, so that's really nice. Today I need to throw about 10 white clay pieces and I need to make a bunch of tigers, <laughs> which I've been doing, I've only made like one test prototype and I'm not like super stoked on it. So I'm gonna try a few different ways of making them. Um, and we'll see how they turn out, but I'm envisioning a piece with tiger handles. When I said that to Taylor, he was kind of like, well, I don't know what, you're, what you mean. So I'm probably just gonna have to wait and show you what I mean. But I have drawings on my wall Point, pinned on my wall of the stuff that I wanted to make for this collection so I think that's been like really good and also keeping me focused and in line with what I want to create and I wrote down a bunch of like words that are descriptors of the year of the tiger lucky numbers good colors the timing of the spring festival and Chinese New Year we will probably go get dim sum on Chinese New Year or we'll probably get takeout dim sum to be totally honest because I bet it's gonna be packed. Just so much to look forward to. What else is new? We are getting a puppy very soon. Uh, I'll put a picture of him here. We just went to visit them last weekend and basically my brain is just in like puppy mom mode. Like I'm just getting ready for that. Really excited to have my shop update. Uh, a couple weeks before the puppy comes so after that I can pack everything up get it shipped out and then just like prep and take some time off when he gets here I want to get into some other creative mediums this year will I be selling them I'm not sure yet it's more just like sometimes I want to be doing something creative that's not ceramics and I think that's really important to keep myself sane maybe you feel the same way about your creative practice hand-built piece that I'm hoping to attach some tigers to. I figured I would take it out now so I can kind of like look at how they might fit on. I think I might have made them too big, um, 
but this is what I was kind of envisioning. They're pretty wet still um, and definitely need like a little bit more <laughs> touching up. But like, is this weird? I don't know, I'm kind of into it. Okay, let's move this forward. Something like this. I don't know, that looks kind of weird now that I'm looking at it. I was picturing more like, <laughs> this is just gonna be me, a video of me being like, I don't know, is this cool? This, but like a little bit more rounded. So maybe I just need to round these guys. Maybe pause up, eh? Like pause up, back legs, back. But does it just look like it's climbing it? Kind of. I should put this on a banding wheel. Something like that. I didn't really want it to be climbing. I wanted it to be more like, you know. Also, this kind of looks like a polar bear more than a, a tiger. I need it to be a bit more playful. I'm really excited. Okay, I'm gonna take a picture of this. Um, so I have a little backup of what I'm envisioning. We're going back to the drawing board because I think they're too big. to attach the tigers to the big vase today. I have been letting them dry overnight. I covered them up in some plastic before I left the studio. So you probably saw me make a few yesterday. These are quite dry actually. I made slightly bigger ones and then they looked a little bit too big when I put them right against the vase. So I made smaller ones. The bigger ones are already dry. <laughs> like they just stand up on their own at this point. I have these two little cutie pies that I'm gonna put on. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this first like trial one cause it dried already, but um, maybe I can make it like something. <laughs> I don't know. base vase that is hand built and very textured um i've been watching a lot of game of thrones and this like actually reminds me of the dragons <laughs> so just call me mother of dragons but mother of tigers for this month let's see if, actually maybe i'll take a video of uh what i had drawn up at the beginning of this year so very lo <laughs> loose uh idea of what i want to do to tigers on the side as handles so this was the original ones I made, which like not bad, but I definitely wanted like the main pot to be more of the visual centerpiece, I guess. So these are a little bit smaller and I think they're actually gonna be perfect. I'm gonna have to move the tails down because I think I want the tails to be like, do I want the tails to be attached? It's gonna be so fun to paint. These also I was thinking like, could they go on the side of a mug? That might be really cool. Like a quite tall mug, I guess. So I'm gonna keep these wrapped up. I'm gonna spray them right now so they'll stay a little bit moist because I have some mugs that I've thrown but I haven't trimmed them yet. I'm gonna wait until Monday to trim. If you have any ideas for what I could do with this. 
if you can't tell, I'm like obsessed with my new hair. It's so short. I've never cut my hair this short in my whole entire life. So I have a little bit of the magic water in this bowl. This is gonna be my magic water bowl because this was like a glaze experiment that I did a long time ago and it's kind of like a beautiful iridescent opal color and I think that's sort of magical too. I'm gonna line these up first, make little markings, and then we'll attach them. Oh my gosh. You wanna make sure they're like across from each other. Okay, this is good. camera viewfinder thing right now but this is why it's actually really handy to have a mirror in this studio on my desk because when I'm trying to like line up handles for mugs or pots sometimes it's nice to see um, a reflection to see if it's like on straight Mom said these don't really look like tigers, so uh, <laughs> we'll see once they're actually painted. But I think they look cool. I don't know. Now I'm kind of thinking I maybe should have like shaped them a little bit more before I put them on, but. Also, like, couldn't remember if tigers had tails, which they do. 